So, okay, this is a good topic. So um, currently you're working your way through the, the campaigns and community. And uh, from my perspective, actually, uh, let's, let's go into the discussion about how to, how to delegate. Because it sounds like to me that, that you're a little bit, um, like, like you feel a little bit overwhelmed with the number of responsibilities that you have. And in, in that way, I think the benefit is what I've seen the people that come in through the internship are actually really quite motivated to help out. So let's begin with a simple question. Um, do you believe that you have fully, how would I say, fully engaged the people on your team that you're leading? Uh, yes, sir. Okay, well, uh, what do you think, yeah. how do you think they're fully engaged? Pardon? Uh, why do you think that they're fully engaged? Um, yeah, I, I do like um, uh, sync up for with with them uh, every day uh, for for the what's it called for the for the updates and the fiction and everything. But yeah, but uh, I think uh, because I I'm not tell uh, my fiction yet to to them, mm -hmm. so they they not to. To know like uh, what actually uh, uh, I need, but, but yeah, because uh, the the other task uh, it's it's not the prioritize, so I I push it the the for the prioritize one mm -hmm. like uh, the the three top one. So I will I will I will like uh, they they focus on that first, mm -hmm. then the the other is uh, because it's less. So for example, like uh, I I I cannot uh, touch the the Facebook group yet. Uh, yeah, because yeah, I need to uh, like uh, do the testing, and then my team is doing the training, okay. and then the calling. So yeah, I think yeah, I, I need to 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 manage the the Facebook group. Uh, okay. More. So Facebook group is something that you feel like you need to manage more. Anything else that uh, besides, let's say, your priorities right now that you feel like you could use some help with? Um. I think just that uh, for the contract I had delegate to GB and Wayana. Okay. Uh, yeah, I think just the Facebook group. Uh, I think we cannot in touch yet. Okay. Yet. All right. Let's go ahead and take a look and let me uh, uh, let me try to try to get a few things uh, organized. Then. All right. So if um, if I'm taking a look at your let's say your cards right now, Tendi, uh, I notice I notice one thing that is actually could be immediately improved. Do you see it? Like you have you have four people on your team, right? You have yourself, you have Andre, you have Rafik, and then you have Gabby. Do you see something that should be here but isn't here right now? Just looking at your cards. Um, I don't know, sir. Okay, let's say, let's talk about delegation then. Um, looking at your cards, you have four people on your team. Have you delegated yeah. any responsibility to the fourth person? Uh, I think for the training and then development to GB. Okay, training and develop. Well, currently that's Andre's doing it, right? Uh, yeah, but Andre, uh, con uh, con tell me and contact me that uh, he cannot do more on community, so okay. he just can help for the topic. Okay. All so right. I'm doing the training with the baby now. I see. Okay. Is 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 it clear in the chapter that that's your expectation of Gabby? Um, not yet. Right. Okay. So that's one thing. So this is why we have SLAs actually, uh, Tendi. So yeah. I was I was speaking to Kiki yesterday, and she felt awkward about delegating something to Shaylin. And I said, why do you feel awkward? She said, oh yeah, tida you know, like, uh, you know, this is kind of like my job, but I I delegate to her. Um, and basically, in my perspective, that's not the way it should be seen. <laughs> the, way, the way you should look at it is like, okay, this is your SLA, you take care of this SLA. And then you have two people that then will, will sort of help you, right? You have the person that happens before you, and then you have another person happening after you. So, okay. If if uh, if if you really want to delegate, I think that's the first part. It needs to be clear across the entire chapter 
All right, Gabby's taking care of training and development now. So she will be doing specific duties. Now, um, let's talk about the second part then. Is it clear what the duties are for this particular role? Um, the duties, uh, yes, for the training and development. Okay. Or GB, right? Excellent. Can you show me the SLA on that? Can you show me the written SLAs for training and development? Yeah, um, uh, the training and development uh, usually in the in the I got oh show me oh yeah 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 okay and then for the training and development uh, usually in the uh, three of these. Uh, mm -hmm. In the inside of three of this, uh, for example, the cleanliness standard. So there are also the training okay. inside, and then the reduce the booking, and then also there's a training here, uh, okay. and then the reduce the partnership turnover. Uh, no, I think I think yes, only two. So. Okay, all right. So remember, um, before when we set up the SLAs, we had different rows and columns, right, Tendi? We yeah. had what is the SLA, what is the job description, what are the attributes? Can you show me that? Okay. Ah, there you go. Okay. All right. Excellent. So what we have here is we have uh, all the different SLAs that we want community to work on, okay? So let's go ahead and take a look at, uh, let's see, where's training and development, training and development. Training and development is an internal SLA, I believe, right? Yeah, it's internal. Okay. Uh, is that then, okay, uh, mentor training, onsite team for cleanliness. Okay. So you still have Andre there as your server, right? Um, you might need to, to change this. And let's say, do you have any... Um, do you have any uh, material or training material for how somebody should train somebody else? Uh, for the training material. Uh, this one should be. Ah, okay. All right. Very good. Right. Well, okay. Do you have any video recordings of somebody training somebody? Uh, uh, for the training somebody, no, but uh, this is for uh, tell how to training. Okay. What I would encourage too, this is this is just an idea. You might add a video of somebody training somebody else, like the way that I'm training right now on how to delegate, right? And that way, when you get new people on your team or you get new delegates, you can just say, watch this, and this is how we generally train people, right? So here is the material. This is the way that we actually implement it, so that so that the the, the new people on your team can can see that. Okay, all right. Okay. So you have this kind of clear now. Uh, for the most part, you have structure. Now the question is, does Gabby know all of this yet? Um, and is Gabby using this material to train the new partners? Oh uh, yes, sir. Okay, all right. So then, okay. So the training part seems to be going okay. And then you have the Facebook part, okay? Yeah. Um, so you told me just earlier that uh, mm -hmm. that your Facebook um, is is not very active, right? So what you need to do is you need to think of a strategy as a leader. What is the strategical purpose of having a Facebook group? Now, remember, mm -hmm. what do you think a Facebook group is? Is it a result or does it help you get to a result? Uh, help to to get the result. Absolutely, absolutely. It's it's think of it this way, Tendi. A lot of people when they when they write down their OKRs and their KPIs, they write down things like this. Tendi, you're a cafe owner. Okay, you have a cafe, you sell coffee. But what you're looking to really get is two things. You're looking to have happy guests that pay revenue for you. That's it. So when you say, hey, look, I I have a I have an espresso machine, or I have a really well-trained barista, or I, I brought in interior designers to paint the, uh, paint the cafe. 
those are actually not results. Those are helping you to get to a result, okay? Um, your results should be happy customers and people that pay revenue and a revenue target. So, um, because what you're selling at the end of the day as a cafe is you, you hopefully are selling a service. You're selling yeah. coffee as a service. You're not selling interior design. You're not selling chairs. These are tools to get you to, to get there. All right. So when you think of a Facebook group, it should never be like I'm creating a Facebook group because that's my mission to create a Facebook group. It should be like kind of like a chair in a cafe. So what is this Facebook group for? So then let me ask you, what is the Facebook group for? What sort of are you going to use the Facebook group to get to which result that you want? Okay. Uh, so it's uh, I think to get the result, it's like uh, the engagement itself, like uh, uh, the we can we can get more engagement and then um, for the information as well uh, easier to spread out the information okay. for the for the partner okay and then uh, sharing like uh, our program and then what we are doing what is our strategy for excellent the partner. excellent okay so this has a few SLA benefits having the Facebook group one is it accelerates user adoption SLA five yeah. So external SLA five, yes. you can accelerate the user adoption by having a faster work velocity. The other one is that you can probably do your other SLAs faster because there's a way of communicating to a group instead of one to one. You can communicate one to many. All right. So then that's 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 what it's for. Then now you're gonna think of okay. Now that you have a Facebook group, what is your what is your content strategy? After all, let's think about social media. What is it? It's two things. One is it, it's listening. And the second part is the talking part, right? The, the broadcasting part. So the very first thing you can kind of think of is, all right, um, am I going to be using this for listening? Am I going to be using this for talking or for both, right? So what do you think it is for? Is it for listening or is it for talking? Um, it's both. Okay, it's both, right? Yeah, as it should be. You should be posting content on it from time to time and then listening to how people react to that content and then driving conversation, right? And then that drives engagement and that drives growth of the community. All right. So what happens if you go to a meeting and there's nobody talking? Tendia, what happens? Uh, yeah, that's, I think there is uh, less motivation uh, uh, to, to join. Right. There's no motivation to go if there's, you know, I'm, I'm at the meeting, but there's nothing that's showing up. Okay. So now you need a strategy. All right. So as a leader, you need a strategy. You need a strategy because you got to tell people what they need to do, right? How they need to think. So now you have a strategy. You're going to need to have a content strategy. Okay. So what will you post in this group? Okay. So let's, let's, let's brainstorm here. Uh, I'll share my screen. And I will jam with you and we'll come up with some ideas of what we can do. Okay, so let's say for example, oops. Besides the Facebook group, everything else you think is under control, yeah, Tenny? Um, yes. Okay, all right, so let's come up with a Facebook group uh, strategy, okay? Strategy. So the objective is actually, what would you say the objective is for the Facebook group strategy? What, what, what are we trying to do at the end of the day? Um, what's it called? Um, to, to, to create a group uh, channel, communication channel for partner. And then uh, and increase the engagement with partner. Okay. Increase engagement with partners. Okay, all right, good. And uh, ultimately, how does this help us fulfill our goals? I think my signal is lagging. Okay, wait, I'll do this, yeah, just to make it more clear. All right. So, Tendi, how, how will this Facebook group help us accomplish our goals? Increasing engagement is a is a means to an end. Uh, by um, 
by forcing and then the what's called the react reaction okay so essentially it accelerates yeah accelerate yeah. accelerate the to support the sla yes adoption of slas okay and then one more thing you gotta think about you gotta think about from the partner's perspective all right because it can't just be what's good for us what's good for us should also be for the partner so from the partner perspective why would they what sort of benefit would they get from this um got the update uh, from bukit vista about the situation strategy and why would they why would they want that what's the benefit of that uh to get uh booking and improve their property or their service okay and why would they want to get bookings and improve their property but uh, to get revenue okay uh why would they need to get revenue uh to cover the operational okay to survive right to survive, to survive and thrive right they need to get bookings and improve the property and in order to get bookings and improve the property they should get updates from book of vista about strategy okay the other day i was talking with gabby um the uh, your intern and oh by the way who's gabby's mentor uh, attending uh me okay great good, 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 good. Get to, yeah. great so what i did with gabby was uh she came to me and she said hey look i'm not getting enough owners to care about um coming in and talking with me about these community updates and so i asked her what are you doing to persuade them? And so she told me that she's saying like, you should come because you get some information because whatever I said, that's not the most persuasive thing you can say, right? Um, you really have to think about it in a more crucial strategy. You have to think about what the end benefit is. So when you want to actually create a strategy for managing a community, you can't talk about what your benefit is, right? Your benefit is, yes, you get faster adaptation of the SLAs, but they don't give a shit about that. That's not like what they come to. So they don't come to so that they, you, you have faster adoption of your SLAs. That's your goal. What they come for is specifically their goals. They come so that they can survive and thrive. Okay. And so basically then that guides you on your content strategy, right? Yeah. So you need then essentially to ask yourself, okay, the day – the content and let's say the purpose, right? And this is how you come up with a content strategy. You can just say, I don't know, you can let's say do a, okay, so this could be the talking part, talking portion of your strategy. Okay. So what is the talking portion of your strategy? Um, Let's say you you agree to post three times a week, right? Three posts a week. And you need to start thinking about all the details, okay? Uh, what will you post? When will you post? And why will you post what? Okay. Who will be interested and what is the intended effect? Okay. So let's say this is part of your content strategy. So now, now you can start thinking about, about this in more in detail. Let's say you have a posting schedule. Let's say you're going to post Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Okay. What kind of content do you want to post? What kind of content do you want to post to show that like you get bookings and improve the property. You can post content that says, okay, testimonials, right? You can post content saying, um, Rafik is doing those interviews with property owners, right? So you can celebrate that. That's great, right? Property owners that are getting ahead with Book It Vista today, right? Property owners, sort of like, Community um, examination, right? Community focus. So that could be your Monday content. Um, Tuesday, Wednesday content. What do you think might be a good Wednesday content? 
uh, about the uh, cleanliness standard uh, and then get the label on Airbnb for the listing? Okay, you can do a little bit more general. You can advertise a program that you're working on. Yeah. Right? So you can talk about cleanliness standard. You can talk about, I think Vidi's also working on discounting, right? Uh, you can talk about whatever program you're working on, okay? And then on Friday, what do you think would be a good topic to cover? Um, what for the program? Um, tourism update? Yes, like, uh, How about like a market update, right? So, you know, arrivals at the airport, maybe you can find the stats on that. Uh, Book Vista, booking pace, uh, most inquired regions. Guest, let's say guest uh, interest. Yeah, guest interest. Right? And you can just come up with like a little newsletter that, that, that talks about all this, right? All right, so the testimonial, what is the purpose? Let's go back up to the first one, testimonial. What is the purpose of the testimonial? Uh, to tell that uh, how is the owner feel uh, <laughs> to walk with, uh, walk with Bukit Vista. So and how then triggering, feel triggering the other owner. Okay, okay. That's, that's not the end purpose, but it's, it's sort of like, it's a it's a supporting purpose. Why do you want to make? Why do you want other owners to see how one owner feels? Uh, to motivate them. Okay. Why why should it be important to motivate them? Uh, to get a user adoption, the adoption. Okay. To motivate owners, and why would they feel better about adopting Book Vista programs by looking at this particular type of post? Hmm. Oh, um. uh, I don't know, sir. Think about it, Tendi. Think about it. Um. When you go to a restaurant, right? You're gonna you're gonna bring your girlfriend to a restaurant, and yeah. the restaurant owner tells you, "Oh, this restaurant's great." And we serve such amazing food. You're gonna have you're gonna have a great experience here. Versus you read what other people who have eaten there say about the restaurant. Why why do you need to read the review of the restaurant? Uh, to approve like uh, the approval like um, like a real the trust yeah the trust the trust right. When you get, remember what uh, Ricardo said. So Ricardo said that if you want to move the elephant, don't push it from behind, lead it from the front, give the elephant a reason to move. So when we try to push our programs onto owners, that's more like we are trying to motivate the elephant. But if we show the elephant, hey, look, other people have moved already, you're the one that's not moving now, then they go, oh, okay. Um, so this is trust. But it's also and FOMO. Um, it could lead to this feeling of everybody else is getting approved. I'm not getting approved, right? And that's what you want. You want to sort of show that the herd is moving and you're the last person in the herd that is still staying on the old way of doing things, right? And that that creates a sense of hmm, maybe I need to maybe I need to catch up. If you really think about it, Tendi, why do most people subscribe to Facebook groups. Why do they? Why do they? Why do they try to keep in touch all the time? Their underlying psychology is that they're afraid something's going to happen that they don't know about, and they're going to miss out on it. Okay, so that's what you got to kind of like, like think about, right? Like, how do I post content that gets people to show shows that my movement is moving ahead, and you probably need to think about how to move ahead too. Yeah. Okay. So that's the purpose of of this testimonial, and it's good, right? Because if you if you have this content, it has a purpose, then you can keep on doing this for a long time and see results. All right. What about advertising the program that you're working on? What's the main objective around that? Um, that 
to show them uh i think this is also same like uh, uh the elephant like uh, to show them and then uh, trigger them to join the program and then uh and then what's called um, because yes okay this is for awareness awareness yes so you're you're advertising hey we have this new menu item would you like to try it? we have a daily special we have a happy hour we have these things that are available on our our menu would you like to would you like to uh, try it out so I think that is uh, uh, that's just to show that they they have have let's say a update. Okay, what's the purpose of the market update? Uh, to know to to tell them the, uh, the situation, uh, the current situation, and then make them understand. Okay, great. So let's talk about this then. Uh, this is more for authority building. Okay, so it's also a form of trust, but you're basically gaining trust because you're an authority. You're showing that, hey, look, I'm looking at the big picture here, and I'm telling you what the big picture is. And that, you know, that makes people feel like, okay, all right, Book of Vista does seem to, you have that information, uh, so, so you're sharing this information with us so that we know what's going on. All right, so then now, basically, like, I'll show you a little bit of what we have. Let's say on LinkedIn, LinkedIn is my social media page that I use to manage, you know, uh, employee activity, right? <clears throat> so it follows kind of a similar pur purpose, right? Sometimes mm -hmm. we advertise a new program, like this particular job, getting sales freelancers. Sometimes we celebrate holidays, right? And that's just for motivation to, to sort of be a community. We celebrate the same holidays. Sometimes we tell an inspirational story about how we began, about whatever it might be, something to, to really uh, share our values and share our ideas. Sometimes we, we talk about a uh, the people that we have encountered that, that join us. But you see, um, and sometimes we celebrate a holiday. What we're missing here is actually something funny. We, we're missing employee testimonials, you see? Oh, uh, yeah. yeah. If we had more employee testimonials, that would work even better. So we're sharing basically program updates in this and we're sharing, yeah, all these are our program updates, right? Hey, look, you know, there's going to be a talk here. Hey, look, there's going to be a BBE talk here. Here's another evidence of a BBE talk. Here's a program program, but we're not sharing enough testimonials, but check this out. This is one time. When, oh, this is a testimonial, right? So here's a testimonial that we, did it was a few months back and we just took the things from the uh the all hands and shared it right here so that that's good right that gives a little bit more context around who the people who work here are and that can be a constant source of updates so that's brilliant right you do an all hands you can collect that information from the all hands and then do one of these each time okay and this is what drives community growth we started at the beginning of the year tendy with something like, okay, I'll show you the number of followers, okay? So the number of followers now, uh, wait, let's see. Let's go all the way to the 12 months ago. Okay, so check this out. This is amazing. We started at the beginning of last year with around 400. It went down, it went down, it went down. And then when we started posting in May, that's when we started thinking really more actively of how, how to recruit because you know, this was during COVID and all, um, we, uh, we started getting a real big spike in engagement on the followers, right? So that's, uh, and then if you go back even further than that, custom, let's say, let's go back to, oh, I don't know, let's say, go back to 2017. Oh, can't go back that far, what about 2018? Huh? Can't go that far either. What? You can only go 12 months. Uh, 2019, uh, let's see if I can go to July. Ah, can't go more, more than two, 12 months. Okay. 
But that's how we grow our followers. We keep posting and we keep them engaged and involved. Um, and you can kind of see what the update schedules are also as well. Uh, let's go 12. So the more we update, the more impressions we get and the more it grows. So right now it's growing, right? Like we update regularly and we grow regularly. And that's, that's, that's what you want. You want to have a regular update schedule and you're right. This is going to be somewhat of a commitment. All right. Now you have a strategy. So this is good. Now what you have is you need an SLA. You need a job description for this particular uh, project, right? Because this needs to run as a service now. This is part of a project that, that you need to put probably over on this side, okay? Um, you're gonna probably need to put it under somebody. You have a new person coming in, by the way. Do you know that, Rosemary? Uh, no. Okay, you have, you have actually a really good uh, candidate coming in. Um, she's very passionate, very motivated. She wants to join community from, uh, from UGM. So you're gonna you're gonna have some bandwidth opened up pretty soon, okay? Uh, I believe this Thursday, in fact. So then okay. the question is actually right now: How will you delegate this? Right? How will you delegate testimonials? How will you delegate this type of work? Now you have uh, a few resources you can work with. One, you can ask: Are you a good copywriter or content maker? Can you make posts? Um, if you can't, then you need to find somebody who can, right? Let's say Gabby, uh, can Gabby do it? So maybe she can, maybe she can't, you'll have to see, right? You'll know from the engagement on the post. So what I would do is this, uh, you might want to have a training period where you, you say, all right, Gabby, I need you to post a testimonial from an owner. And this is super easy, right? Because we've already recorded the videos, Tendi, here inside our, right here. So here's Pot Mega, right? And this is Pot UD right here. So we already have the videos. You don't need to share their entire video, but you can share a screenshot of the video and you can say, hey, look, this is Pot UD and he's just recently joined these programs, da 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 da. And we want to celebrate and congratulate him for his partnership at Book at Vista. And then take a quote from the video. Right. Mm -hmm. And then that's pretty simple. So you can probably delegate that to Gabby. Um, but what you'll need to do on your side first is you need to make a card. Okay. You need to make a card and kind of create what, what is the description of this work? So you might actually be able to do this, Tendi. You can just say, all right, you know, in the very beginning, I won't target three times a week. I'll just target two times a week. Okay. So I asked Gabby, hey, look, Gabby, I'm going to give you access to this Facebook group as an admin. You can post two times a week. You can post about this, and you can post about this, okay? Gabby is pretty decent with graphics. I think she can do it. How do I know? Because I asked her to make a birthday car for Pot Indra, right? Yeah. And she made it. Now, this is another thing you can probably do, right? You can celebrate partner birthdays inside the, the group. So you can have market updates. You can have another day for partner birthdays or partnership Even. anniversaries. Anniversary. Okay. Right. You can put a card and celebrate that for partnership anniversaries. What, the, what was the day the contract started? And this is now the first year, second year, third year of the contract, right? So that's another thing you can post in the group too as well. So that becomes really, uh, really engaging and really active. Um, but once you get into this, I think you, what you're really looking for is you're looking for somebody to, to, to just uh, do this post once or twice a week. Okay. Yes. All right. So then Tendi, what I need you to do at this point is you're going to need to make, I think a card for this program. Okay. And then you're going to need to be able to tie this program. Um, or a pivot, sorry, it's going to be a pivot. You're going to make a card for this pivot and then you're going to need to tie, if you want, right? You're going to need to tie this, this pivot to one of these programs or to, to just community engagement in general, I think. Okay. So I think this is yeah. part of the community engagement program. So it's tied to this. 
this should strengthen the community engagement and it should be able to be measured, right? You can see how many people viewed, you can see how many people uh, commented, how many engagements there are on each post, okay? So, wait. Oh, excuse me. Bless you. <laughs> on your community engagement, what you can have is you can have a second funnel, right? You can have another funnel update over here, and this can be your Facebook updates. You can have uh, the posts over here, okay? And then you can have, after posts, you can have the uh, amount of comments and engagements over here. And then uh, you don't need so many of these things now. Um, and then you can have the, I don't know, what is the end purpose? Let's say the end purpose is to actionable, maybe, uh, uh, da, 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 da. okay, this one is probably actionable insights. This sort of skips over C, right? Or we skip over, we skip over B, sorry. So, oh, wait, there's another structural thing I need to talk to you about, Tendi. So currently, you, you guys have too many people on each campaign. Each campaign just has one campaign manager. That way it's very clear when you report who's in charge. Because right now, I don't know who's the campaign manager of this. Do you? Uh, no. Right. So you guys need to decide who's – well, definitely not, definitely not, not Andre now, right? So, okay. So, as a leader, this needs to be very clear. This is like strategy stuff. Um, anybody who joins your team needs to be very clear who's in charge of what. So, in community engagement, is it you or Rafik, uh, the person in charge of the campaign? Uh, Rafik. Okay. So, then you can remove yourself, and then that's clear. Okay. So, this is Rafik's campaign. And what Rafik needs to do is he needs to go and ask. All right, Rafik is in charge of scheduling outreach and setting the schedule, right? Andre is in charge of response and preparing topic. So what this means is this. Um, actually, you can have the same. You can have the same. So wait, here's, here's what we go. Okay. Rafik's in charge of outreach and setting the schedule for the Facebook group, right? And then Andre who's going to be replacing, uh, or Gabby, who's going to be replacing, is in charge of the topic. Okay. And then discussion and feedback is, oh, yeah, this is perfect, actually. You know what? This is discussion and feedback. Okay. Discussion and feedback is a comment. Okay. So what the way you can break down this work, Tendi, is beautiful. You can have four people work on the Facebook updates. So what you have is this. Let's say, okay, let me include this over here. So this could be one of your sources, and this is your uh, this is your Facebook uh, posting strategy. Okay, uh, let's see if that works. Yeah. Nope, that didn't work. Okay, oops. Uh, see if that works. Ah, okay, all right, fuck it. Okay, all right, so we have that cord there. This is what you can do, actually, Tendi. So you can have a date. And then the topic, and then the content, and then the post, right? And this is how you schedule it. So let's say your first, you plan to post today, right? So September 21st, September 23rd, and then September 25th, okay? So then this is. Graphics job, okay? This then is 
Gabby's job. And then the, what was it, discussion and feedback. This is your job, Tendi. And then actionable insights. This is your job again, Tendi. Okay, does that make sense? Um, yes, sir. Okay. So, uh, the Facebook group is part of the community engagement card, or because we also have uh, a card for the Facebook and the F. No, uh, you should put it in the community engagement. It simplifies it, okay. right? So it just makes it really easy. You don't want to have too many things all over the place. So this is actually really simple. It's part of your campaign. Part of your campaign for engagement is that you will do physical engagement, right? You'll go and ask, you know, telephone. The other part of your engagement is to do the digital engagement, right? So I would work on both parts at the same time. Um, you do your, your offline engagement and you do your online engagement at the same time. Rafik needs to come up with a topic uh, Monday every day, right? Or, or before it happens. Gabby then needs to then create the content to represent it. So maybe Rafik says it's like owner testimonials, right? So then Gabby needs to create the content for the owner testimonial. Then you go on the page and drive the discussion and the feedback, and you collect insights. And you guys can do this really easily. It's probably just 20 minutes of each person's time a day. And so all you then do is you look at your schedule, and you just schedule 20 minutes a day to, to do this. And I think you'll be able to fit it in. What you can do later, Tendi, is you can delegate whatever you do to a new person once, once you've done it really well, right? Let's say Rosemary, she joins, right? You can delegate maybe the content part or the discussion of feedback part to somebody else. But what I would say you need to do right now is go to Rafik and ask him to plan the topics because that's what he does, right? He kind of plans, it to, uh, he plans the schedule. So he plans, the, uh, he plans the schedule and the topics all right, and then Gabby creates the content, and then you you then go on the page to drive the engagement, and then the, and then you bring back the actionable insights. Sound good? Okay, so now you have it up here, so we can measure how many of these have been done, how many of these got back, and what the actionable insights are, and we can drive it every day. Cool. Yes. Okay. Okay. So now we can put that into production. Um, now you have the correct linkage between your program and your strategy and the whole works, right? So you have a program that supports your strategy and you've distributed it now across your team so it gets easier and easier to do. Um, okay? Yes, yeah, sir. All right. Next okay. thing I so, want to... Okay, go ahead. Yeah. So I will uh, just archive the F uh, card, yeah, the partner communication channel. Yes. What, okay. what, what, what I think you need to do next is this. You probably need to take this and this needs to be shared with Rafik and Gabby, and you just need to tell them what your expectations are. So we're going to go do this Facebook group. We need to, we're doing it because this is the reason why we're doing it. It's important that the people on your team understand the why. Why are we doing this? Why are we doing this instead of something else? So you have that part now. You have the talking portion of your strategy. Oh, you have the listening part now too, right? And you will listen to what the owners engage and what they say talk about, right? And you'll find a way to respond to that. And then you have a calendar. You essentially have a delegation table here. Delegation table. So everybody knows what they need to do. And then you have an example over here. So everyone knows what they need to do to as well, right? So it becomes quite easy to, to delegate this. All right, um, and uh, the next thing is this. I don't know if I've seen your schedule yet. Have, okay, let's see, let's take a look at your schedule. Oh, we got four minutes. Okay. All right, so uh, let's see. Oh, wow, okay, we'll have a lot of interesting people. Wow, this is gonna be a very uh, big day. Um, let's take a look at your schedule, Tendi. Okay, good. Good, 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 good. You're, you're, you're setting your time um, according to, to, uh, uh, to the things that, are, that you need to do. Okay, so that part is good. And you might want to check this, though. Uh, 
you're not setting any times at the moment, I can see, nor is your team setting times to work on any of the programs that you have here, any of the campaigns, right? Yeah. Okay, so if I look at, let's say, uh, campaign A, B, and C, you have not scheduled any time to work on that on a daily basis, right? Oh, yeah, yes. Okay, so then if you don't schedule time to work on it, then how do you know it will get done? And how do you know that people will actually work on it? What, uh, what I'd like to show you is this, actually. This has been a really successful case. Um, let's take a look at uh, Rezol. Rezol! So this is Rezol's programs over here. <clears throat> so it's actually pretty simple. Um, Rezol's schedule is actually built according to the programs that he has, and it's built according to which program has highest priority. You see that? So his schedule is set on the first campaign and the second campaign, one hour each day on each of these campaigns, right? And then a little bit more on also working on uh, other different campaigns on the weekends too and such. So this allows Rezal to know that no matter what, this campaign will always move forward every day. There will always be one hour on each campaign. So if I take a look at, let's say, uh, graphic schedule, right? There is no time schedule for each campaign, right? If I take a look at, let's say, Gabby's schedule, um, I don't think she's actually scheduled any time for any campaign either. You might want to ask your team to start thinking about that because that then, uh, Tendi, reduces the conflict of, of, yeah, so Gabby hasn't scheduled any time to work on the campaigns either, okay? So when people say they run out of time, it better look like it, it has, okay, yeah, like you have run out of time, right? Um, if, if you have, let's say, if you still have all this white space, to me, it looks like you still have time, right? So as a leader, I would encourage that practice to reduce the amount of, of let's say, uh, uh, time budget allocation issues that can happen, yeah. okay? Um, so, so all you have to do is then suggest to your team um, I, I wouldn't suggest, I would probably emphasize this is a very good program because this is the other thing you can do. Let's say, for example, you all coordinate at a certain time to work on a certain program, right? So every day from, let's say, I don't know, three to four. Oh, uh, wait, there is, right? So Gabby's does CM training one hour a week, only one hour a week. That's not a lot, right? <laughs> so yeah. then let's say they organize uh, community engagement, one hour a week, right? Half an hour of that is for the Facebook, half an hour is for other forms of community engagement. Done. <laughs> and then you will probably be able to fully utilize Gabby's time and also Rafik's time to work on things that matter. And Rafik should be no surprise to this, he's the one always talking about time management. Yes. Okay? So time management follows the program, and then that part is then easy. Cool? Okay. Yes, okay. Sir. And you will have enough time. You, you guys have a lot of time. You have combined 120 hours every week. If you spent one hour with every owner, you'd reach all of them in one week, right? So think about it that way. There is, there is actually enough time, but uh, we just need to use it well. All right? Yeah. Okay. okay. Have a good day then, Tendi. Yeah. Okay. Thank you, sir. All right. So what yeah. I'd like to see by the next time is I'd like to see this. I'd like to see some numbers up here, right? I like to yeah. see that this this Facebook update is moving along, and I'd like to see Gabby and Rafik start using time blocking as a way of managing their time. So that way, when you hear that, oh, I don't have enough time, you can verify, yeah, you're right, your schedule is fully packed right now, and it's it's you're you're working on things that really matter. Okay. 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 Yeah. How long would that take for you to get get ready for me? Uh, I think that's good. It's it's more clear. Uh, almost uh, like um. Especially the the strategy, like uh, actually, if if you break down the strategy, it will be more easier to to have a look and then easier to delegate as well. So. Okay. And then yeah, the budgeting time as well. Let me give you a goal then, Tendi. By Wednesday this week, I want to see at least um, three. Right. I want to see at least three outreach. I want to see one response and uh, some discussions and actual insights, yeah? So let's just aim for some activity here. 
Not a lot, but I need some activity on the Facebook group, okay? And if it's working, then I know that you're leading it correctly by Wednesday. Can we try to aim for that? Yeah, yes, sir. Okay. And also, ideally, for at least on Wednesday, I would like to see at least Gabby have a calendar that has been time blocked for a little bit more uh, training than what she currently has. She only has one hour a week scheduled for training, which I don't think is enough. I think she needs to probably think about how to do that every day. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. All right. Great. Um, I'll check back up on you on Wednesday then. Yeah? Yeah. All right. Tendi, okay. come back to me if you need any help. Okay? Yeah, sure. Okay. All right. Have a good day. Bye-bye. Okay. Thank you. Thank you.